bringing your feet closer together with driver will help you hit it longer and straighter. Now this tip is certified by Pete Caron, one of the world's number one coaches. And I'm gonna show you with three simple tweaks how you can bring it into your game. Now there are three stages to this drill. First stage, I want you to put your feet together. Now look at this on player cam. My feet are touching and the golf ball is in the middle of my stance. Now, when I've got it in the middle of my stance, you might be thinking, wow, Alex, this is gonna be super unbalanced, but it's not. What it's really gonna encourage you to do is spiral up more in the golf swing. And what I mean by that is turn on a more central point. So what I recommend at stage one is maybe possibly hitting four or five golf balls with your feet together. So think about this logically, right? If we're keeping ourselves way more centered because we have a narrower stance, we're keeping our golf swing, if this hoop sort of illustrates my swing, more centered, more in a fixed point. Now, if you're doing that, you're guaranteed to get way better contact. Think about it logically, right? If I go wide, I've got the ability to move off and not fall over, right? So my perception of what I'm doing is way different. Whereas if I made a big sway move with my feet together, then I'm clearly gonna be falling all over the place. So first part of this, I want you to go feet together just to simply realize and possibly compare this to how your swing is of really spiral up. Okay, stage one, I'm gonna hit this one away. Let's look how far it goes. You're gonna be surprised. Oh, by the way, guys, if this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you subscribe. This is your only place for free, simple golf tips that you can take straight to the course. Okay, here we go. Watch how I spiral. I keep way more centered. Look how straight that's just gone. I mean, it surprises me every time how good the contact was. And come here, have a look how far this has just gone. You're not gonna believe it. Two three, three. That's with my feet together. Two, three, three. Let's jump into stage two. Now, isn't that crazy how far I just hit that? Now let's expand on this and we'll bring in some more power here. So stage two, I mentioned that our swing stays a lot more centered and that's because we're here. So it doesn't only stay centered from looking like this because you're not falling off, but it also stays centered in this fact of you're not going to be standing up. Because your feet are together, your brain realizes you have to make a better quality turn in order to produce power. You get away with much more. Now, stage two, you've got to think about this logically. With driver, every single golfer is looking to hit the ball on the up, like everybody. So keeping the feet together, it keeps the low point fixed. It keeps it in the same place because you're keeping better in your golf swing. So what I recommend here is have a look at this now, my feet on player cam. We're expanding this. I want you to now, after you've hit the four or five in stage one, let's go a club head width apart. I've got my ball position inside my left heel, and this is gonna help me now keep my low point behind the golf ball. Watch how far this one goes. It's gonna keep getting further and further as we build up to stage three, and that's what's gonna happen to you. So here we go, watch this one fly. That's a beauty hit again. That is a beauty hit, even in the wind, that's a beauty hit. Now have a look at this. You're not gonna believe this. Two, five, two, that has just gone. Absolutely crazy. The final point, I bet you didn't realize that this would actually stop you coming over the top two. Now you gotta think, right? If I have my feet very narrow and I swing very over, I'm gonna fall. This really encourages golfers of all levels, of all abilities to hit more from the inside and sweep. So we've spoken about controlling it from face on here, but also down the line, if this is our swing, it stops it being so across the ball. It encourages it to be a little bit more in to out. So you think of the benefits. You're staying more centered, you're keeping your low point in the exact same spot, and now you've got the ability to hit from the inside. This is why Pete Cowan says 99% of golfers should use this drill to hit the driver straighter. 
honestly, and I trust in him. I mean, who's to question him, right? Now, what I would say is a realistic way for golfers to take this to the golf course, you're not gonna go out and hit with your feet together. You're probably not even gonna go out and hit with a grip width apart, a club head width apart. What I want you to do here is how I take it to the golf course and what I recommend here is going two club head widths apart as your measurement. Have a look at this from player cam. Or another great reference point is ankles on armpits. Ankles on armpits. That allows us to feel that we get all the benefits of the spiral, not lifting, okay? Not swaying, staying spiral, so controlling center, controlling low point but also those benefits of coming more from the inside. So that's my stance. And when you look down on it, you're gonna feel, wow, oh wow. Alex, that is the most narrow stance I have ever seen. But it's not, it's just your perception's been all wrong. We don't wanna be like this. You can't get through the bloody ball. We can't do that. Here we go. Right, got my stance. Watch how this one flies. It's gonna go longer than 252, I can assure you that. I don't get bored of that. I do not get bored of that. Oh, that is actually perfect. Told you it's gone more than 252, 266. That is what every golfer wants to hit, right? Look at this, 266, we wanna be around here. If we can get that, you can shorten a hole and I know you're gonna play way better golf. Don't forget, if this is your first time here, subscribe. It's your only place for free, simple golf tips.